As Peter Maguire expects the market sell-off to continue this week. He explains why. I think that momentum will continue over the next matter of days while that news comes forward, not only from the Chinese numbers, but of course coronavirus. So as it gains momentum, I think that there's probably further sell-offs and contraction across many of those markets. Now, you mentioned the uh, damaging Chinese uh, factory numbers, uh, certainly the worst on record. We've seen the Chinese government obviously uh, throwing money at the problem with stimulus measures. Are they expecting then to do more? Well, I feel as though it'll be a concerted effort across many of the developing countries and, of course, you know, the major markets. I'm sure that you'll look at um, the Chinese prepared to do whatever is needed to actually get that growth going forward. And you're looking at the major ones like the US with numbers coming out at the end of the week as far as non-farm payrolls. And you could see the Fed also look at cuts. Australia the same, Canada. So it's going to be a very, very hectic week from the bond market. We know, of course, that China isn't the only country uh, putting in place stimulus measures, throwing money at the problem. Uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, amongst others, have done the same. So are yes. you expecting most central banks in the region then to uh, cut rates in the coming months? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, we're, you know, we're at, a, as we're, everyone knows, we're at record lows, but I think that that will continue. This coronavirus is really... Uh, something that I don't think the markets were were ready on and certainly, um, you know, as far as the, the push forward and what the impact has been. And there's no th there's no sense at the moment that we've actually got this matter under That's control. Right. So banks will have to stimulate, uh, stimulate mm. and that all comes down to cutting rates. That's right. All that uncertainty you mentioned, Peter. And of course, where you are, Australia, it is the most China-dependent uh, developed economy in the world. We're expecting uh, growth figures out this week. Do you think going forward, Australia is going to be particularly hard hit? Well, I think so. And that's been demonstrated by our value of our dollar now in the 64 club. So we're down from you know, the, the 69s and 70s all the way to 64, 64, 50. And I feel as though that there's further softness there. So um, Australia really feels it. And it's not uncommon for commodity-based currencies to really be hemorrhaged.